different than taking Florida State out of their tempo. Brent Farrar back in the game. Joe Williams trying to get somebody to settle the club down. Beckton again. Two for two. He might have been the player of the game last night. Now they get it into Gibson. He'll make his move. Comes up to the free throw line. Keith Lee fouled it. You know, I don't know if Lee can handle Gibson if they go head-to-head -head against each other. Gibson's awful strong. He was picked the junior college newcomer of the year last year in college basketball. I'd have to figure Walter Berry would be that this year. He's a powerful fella. Just turned right around in Lee's face. He's 6'10". Not a particularly good free throw shooter. Only 62% on the year. That's one big advantage Lee has. Lee shoots 78%. controlling from at the state. Holmes, the pass from Askew with the assist. Memphis State up 25-17 at the 7.52 mark. Of course, another turnover. In the home, Schaffer fouled it. Well, Schaffer's showing he can get up off the ground. Are they going to call that two points? Or just two fouls? Baskerville Holmes, a seven-foot-two-inch high jumper in high school. You know he can get up around that rim. Schaffer may have injured his left hand as he went up that time. But I don't think he's the kind of guy who wants to come out of a ball game. Brother was a linebacker at North Carolina. Imagine they had a few scraps around the house. Wilfong reports in for Memphis State. John Wilfong. And Boyd will sit down for a while. This will give Memphis the 10-point lead. So after a quick first here by Florida State, Dana Kirk changes his defense, and now he is dominating. You're today, Chevy. Want more room? You're today, Chevy. More family room? You're today, Chevy. More stylish room? Come on in, stretch on out. That's what celebrity's all about. Move into Celebrity, the roomiest front drive wagons in America. Celebrity Eurosport CL Estate. If that's your kind of room, Live today, Chevy. Live today, Chevy. Live it. Chevy. Gonna party like before. It's a big thing once more. Gonna stroll across the floor. We'll turn it loose with a single bullet. Find it. We will grab it. Pull it. Rock and roll with a cold, cool slide. Paper's heavy. The weight is fine. Silver bullet won't slow you down. Keep it light. Coors Light Beer. Detailed studies of the human body, biomedical research, computer-aided design, two years and countless clay models, trying different shapes, new materials, doing it over, again and again, all to design a more comfortable, durable seat for General Motors cars and trucks. Leonardo would have loved it. Nobody sweats the details like GM. Join Brent Musburger and Billy Packer for a tournament preview, followed by number three Michigan against Indiana, and later the tournament selection show tomorrow on CBS Sports. I went over to that little boy and I said, what's wrong with you? What happened? He looked at me right in the eye and he said, I got tiger fever. <laughs> How about the answer to the trivia? Which three active coaches have taken three different schools to the NCAA tournament? One of them here today. Billy Packer, there they are. Okay, they sure are. Joe Williams, Gene Bartow, and Ralph Miller. Ralph, there's Joe. 
Jacksonville and Furman went to the final with that Jacksonville team and the great artist Gilmore losing to UCLA, one of the John Wooden championship clubs. And Ralph Miller, Wichita State, Iowa, and Oregon State. Gene Bartow, UCLA, Memphis State, and UAB. Nice feed. State. Well, Spates, you know, was part-time starter as a freshman, averaged eight a game, but he hadn't really come on throughout his career. That run for Memphis State is 14-3 in the last four and a half minutes. Give you an idea on the dominating Baskerville off the table. Now, what was so tough for Spates on that play is he's trying to help out on Keith Lee. So when he had to rush at Baskerville Holmes, Holmes just gave the good pump fake and had it wide open. Good play. Spates has got to realize if he's going to run out of the man, he better be sitting down. That zone is packed way inside now. Gibson to operate. Missed by Beckton off to Askew. Here come the Tigers again on that roll. Looking to be one of the top seeds in the NCAA tournament. Quick pass to Baskerville again with a miss. They power to the glass. Gibson has it knocked free. Shafford comes up with it for the Seminoles. Pulls up. Oh, he's a hard-nosed kid. He was going for that loose ball and didn't care who was in his way. Schaffer with eight points. Tigers with an eight-point lead. Holmes on the turnaround. All of a sudden, basketball Holmes is becoming the big offensive threat. And the reason for that, Florida State's got so much pressure on Keith Lee that he's wide open. Two-three zone, Keith Lee in the middle. Florida State trying to pump it down inside to get Schaffer from the perimeter and ten. <laughs> Iowa State with a one-point lead on Wayman Tisdale. Tulsa over Wichita State in the final of the Missouri Valley. They've had some wars this last week. They went after each other. impressive offensive displays. He's noted for his defensive talent around the city of Memphis. Nobody coming. The Keith Lee should have been over there to pick that one out. Spade ships it across. Oh, it. it came through, and he'll come to the line, drawing the foul on Keith Lee. Fine play by Fitch. It hadn't been a scorer at all against Memphis State, but he shows some leaping ability here. A real frail young man. From Perry, Florida. Hadn't been a factor in either game before, but had a big game against Cincinnati. Had 23 points late season ball game. That's two fouls on Lee. You see Bedford coming back in, huh? The missing Seminole was Gibson. He was not in their huddle. He's catching his breath back down here at the defensive end. Bedford back in, Lee out. Boy, that's something that uh, Dana Kirk really has a nice deal there where he can go ahead and use those two. We're live, Freedom Hall, Louisville, Kentucky. I'm Brent Musburger along with Billy Packer. This is the championship of the Metro Conference. Memphis State, of course, will be in the NCAA tournament. Florida State can get in if they upset Memphis State. They would not get an at-large bid, or at least they certainly don't figure to. But a win here gets them an automatic berth. <laughs> And the coach is still hollering, trying to get some zone that'll work. This is a 2-3 zone. Gibson down inside. Effective. Right loud. <laughs> Shepard gets it inside and hits it again, and he's showing us some basketball here this afternoon. Coming right back into the game, just when you thought that Florida State was out of it. Turner. Memphis State's getting a roll down here, aren't they? They've had a lot of balls. That nice soft touch just fall through for them. What I like about what Memphis State's doing is Florida State is giving them a certain shot in the zone, and the Memphis State players are taking it. That's a mark of a good team. You give them something defensively, and they can take advantage of it. Gibson got in behind Bedford, 
beautiful pass by Schaffer. Seven for Gibson. Well, Schaffer has had a double figure assist days. Pretty multi talented ball player. Wilfong. Great. Rejected. Myrick came out after. Should be somebody open inside. Turner doesn't take advantage of it. Gibson tried to block that shot. If he'd have touched it, it would have been goaltending. Should be under there trying to get good position for rebound. Baskerville Holmes with a 16-point half so far here against Florida State. Inside to Gibson. And he traveled. You know, Brent, on the year, Gibson has only 28 assists. We talked about comparing him with Walter Berry, and neither one of them give up that ball very much, do they? We just found out that Booby here drinks the same beer as me, Corky, Sparky, Buck, and Boom Boom. Light beer from Miller. Now, Booby, Buck, and Boom Boom like light because it's got a third less calories than the regular beer, and it's less filling, while Corky and Sparky drink it for the great taste. So Boom Boom, Buck, and Booby don't necessarily drink it for the same reason as Sparky and Corky. They all agree that light's the best beer to buy. Now, right, Booby. You bet, Boom Boom. Right, Buck? You got it, Corky. What about that, Sparky? You said it, Boob. <laughs> light beer from Miller. Everything you always wanted in a beer, and less. Ryder presents a moving tribute to those industrious few who saved money by renting a truck from somebody else. The Brubakers from Akron who saved $14.50 moving to Topeka. Stanley Helms who saved eight bucks moving from Tulsa to Reno. The Willises who saved $6.95 on their move to Seattle. And finally, to the Blevins family who saved a grand total of $13 and found out like they all did that it's Ryder or it's wrong. Judith, could you send $350 to Santa Fe right away? Could you possibly send me $709 at Marine? Marine. Dad, is there any way you could send the money today? To send someone money fast, come to Western Union. We'll make sure it gets to any of our 9,000 locations, usually in 15 minutes or less. Keep in touch. Western Union, the fastest way to send money. Olympic champion Bill Johnson returns to Aspen to defend his title in America's Downhill, plus the World Figure Skating Championships, next on CBS Sports Saturday. Dana Kirk, the man who revived the basketball fortunes at Memphis State, and he's getting a very impressive performance here so far from one Baskerville home. With 16 points, he's hit 7 of 8 from the field. His career high at Memphis State is 18. Isn't that a mark of a good ball club when you can have everybody contribute in a given game? It's tough to scout a team that can attack you with that many offensive weapons. Back to man-to-man -to -man goes Florida State on that timeout. Keith Lee sitting out right now. Bedford up front with Holmes and Beckham. Will Fong maneuvering. And it's put back up in by Baskerville, who has just tied his career high. 18 points, first half of the Metro Conference Championship game. Again, just that little nasty press before Memphis State drops back in their 2-3 zone. For Schaffer, he's looking for another one of those jump shots. Brock. That foul. Yep, Turner came underneath him. Of course, a reminder that at the conclusion of today's game, Billy and I will select a Chevrolet, most valuable player of the game from each team. Chevrolet donates a $1,000 scholarship to the general scholarship fund of each school. I'll nominate Baskerville Holmes. You got right him now. in there. You put him on the card already, huh? <laughs> well, he's having some kind of half, actually, some kind of game. He's uh, without him. You know, you're talking about he has 18. They only have 39 as a club. Oh, that, now, what, what they're saying is that that was after the shot. Schaffer. He's looking oh for that jumper. Schaffer. They're saying that ball was not in the act of shooting, but after the shot, that's why they took it out of bounds. So it really became a four-point.
three-point play instead of a three-point play. Four-point play it makes it a five-point game at the 136 mark here in the first half. Wilfong ships it back outside. Back to the spot. Yeah, he just feels it. And he followed that shot with his eyes, and normally that's not a good shooting technique, but he's just feeling it right now. Nobody coming up in the middle. Florida State now starting to get back in a nice tempo. You know, when, when Memphis State started to press them, they started going a little bit wild. Gibson loses. Pitch it. Good try. Well-conceived play by Florida State. Just set a good screen in the zone by Fitchett. Allows Farrar to come right around the wing. Florida State was down by 10 earlier here in the first half. Schaffer is trying not to play Will Fong except so he can help out on the inside. doing a pretty good job on Turner today. Down to 10 seconds on the shot clock. Bedford, short. Gibson, they've got 12 seconds. Last shot time. They'd have to feel awfully good going in down by three. Oh, the fake gets inside. Misses the shot. Holmes, last second of the half. wanted the foul called, but that's the end of the first half. With the score, Memphis State 41, Florida State 36. CBS Sports coverage of NCAA basketball will continue after this commercial and a word from your local station. Can you believe it, JT, with an $18 million contract? Sure is a long way from the playground. Think you still drink strolls? Yeah. <laughs> hey, guys. JT, hey, man. Man. Richard. <laughs> Delta and its 36,000 professionals salute America's best and brightest with Scholar Player Profiles. Colorado's Alex Stiffens has risen to new heights in the Rockies. The psychology major is prepping for a career in medicine by excelling in his studies. Alex has a 3.4 average in this demanding field, but he still finds time for other pursuits, like basketball, where he's on top of another demanding field, the Big Eight. Alex will lead the conference in rebounding this year. Alex Stiffens, a scholar, a player. Great day, huh? Some airlines seem to see how far they can push you. Puppy! Oh, not Delta. We'd rather see how well we can fly you. How about that movie, huh? Just give it a good spin. And now with movies on selected Delta flights. Hello? So why be pushed from here to there? Puppy! When you can relax and fly Delta. Delta gets you there in style. Introducing three all-new 1986 Mazda B2000 trucks. Trucks so advanced, the words that describe them best may never have been used to describe any truck. Words like roomy, quiet, responsive, aerodynamic, good handling, smooth riding. And the words great value also apply to the SE5, the LX, and the B2000 experience. The 1986 line of Mazda trucks. Experience it. I train the best gymnast in the world. I expect perfection. And the only beer that comes up to my standards is light beer from Miller. Light scores a perfect 10 because it is less filling. But even better, you can't beat that taste of light. Yeah. Well, let's see how did I do. Whee! Good. Oh. Oh. oh, no. Light beer from Miller. Everything you always wanted in a beer and less. A Russian judge. <laughs> And welcome back to New York. I'm Pat O'Brien, and we are at halftime. Tomorrow, of course, is the big day when the NCAA Tournament Selection Committee announces its 64-team field who will make it on the road to Lexington. The committee is in closed-door session in Kansas City. And for more, here's Gary Bender. This is the site of meetings this week for the NCAA Men's Basketball Selection Committee. This nine-man committee has been meeting since Friday trying to select the 64-team field. They feel that the first 50 teams will be relatively easy to pick. 
but the remaining 14 due to parity will give them some difficult challenges. The men's committee not only selects the 64-team field, but supervises the entire tournament, including the selection of officials. The committee chair is Vic Bubas, who is head coach at Duke, took the Blue Devils to three Final Four appearances. He's the commissioner now of the Sun Belt Conference. Arnie Farron was the only four-time All-American in Utah basketball history. Dick Schreider, in 1948 and 49, played professional basketball with the Vegabond Kings and also the New York Knicks. Frank Windigger won the Southwest Conference basketball title in 1963, becoming the youngest coach ever to win a conference championship. He's now athletic director at TCU. Gene Corrigan taught Latin, English, and history while coaching football, basketball, and lacrosse in Baltimore. Gene is currently the athletic director at Notre Dame. This is Dick Schultz. He was drafted by Los Angeles as a football player, but played professional baseball with the St. Louis Farm Club, and he'll be the committee chair next year. Dave Hart, holder of the Distinguished Flying Cross, coached football at the University of Pittsburgh. He now is the athletic director at the University of Missouri. Cedric Dempsey, in 1951, was the number two small college rebounder in the nation, averaging 21 points per game. Fred Schaus played forward for the Fort Wayne Pistons and the New York Knicks. He's now athletic director at West Virginia. We asked Vic Bubas how this year's expansion to 64 teams affected the selection process. I think in one way it's a little bit better because we have 11 more bids to extend than we did last year. Last year the field was 53, this year it's 64. On the other hand, I think it's tougher because the deeper that you go into the field, there's more parity in the selections, particularly down at the bottom of the field. But all the decisions will be made by tomorrow. And tomorrow you'll see the live announcement of the tournament pairings at 5.30 Eastern time right here on CBS. And our NCAA halftime activities will continue here on CBS after this. <laughs> Only $59.99 for this Nissan truck? And you're telling me no other leading standard compact has more horsepower? $59.99. More standard payload, too. $59.99. Double walls, five speed? $59.99. Same sticker price as last year. More truck for no more money. That's what I've been trying to tell you. Save big with 8.8% financing on any new Nissan truck for a limited time at your Datsun dealer. Hurry. Uh, I've been seeing another fish. Can we talk about it? It's tender, golden, very warm. McDonald's filet of fish a day, tempting dish. Go on. I needed to change of pace. Night comes out to play. Turn it loose with a silver bullet. Find it, catch it, grab it, pull it. It's the right light one. When you hit the town. Cool black will never, never, never slow you down. Feel it light, party right. Turn it loose with a silver bullet tonight. Cool's light beer. Maxim, the world's easiest SLR, because it alone has built-in automatic focusing. Look, Maxim's autofocus lets you get perfect shots before others can even focus. Change lenses, Maxim again gets the shots that used to get away. Only the human eye focuses faster. Minolta Maxim, only from the mind of Minolta. We'll continue with NCAA basketball action after this word from your local station. He's a novice private eye who's in just a little over his head. Now I know what Mondale and Ferrero felt like. Jed Hirsch is a detective in a house, premiering March 15th on CBS. This is CBS.
A good time to shop for a mid-size car is just after dark, when it's still light enough to make out the shape, but not the name. Because that's about all that separates the Chevy Celebrity from a Buick Century or old Sierra, except the price. Celebrity costs $1,200 less than a Sierra and $1,300 less than a Century. Now that you've seen the light, see your Memphis area Chevy dealers. Isn't it great to love a car you can afford? We dare you, Mid-South, dare you to compare these classic Cadillacs to any other luxury car. Seville, one of a kind in styling and priced less today than it was two years ago. And the incomparable El Dorado, a classic in its own time. 1985 will be the last year you can buy these full-size classic cars. So now's the time to buy. Seville, El Dorado, compare these Cadillacs to any car. May the best car be. Tonight's Channel 3 Late Movie. Today's Metro Conference Championship Game is sponsored by Budweiser. For all you do, this Bud's for you. Mazda and the full line of sophisticated Mazda products. And by Ryder Truck Rental. When you move it yourself, it's Ryder or it's wrong. <laughs> Kentucky. We're at halftime of the Metro Conference Final, and what a show we got a short time ago by the Memphis State Pom Pom Girls. They put on an extravaganza here. Watch this. Showing us why they're one of the top groups in the country. Well, you know, the final, the final four was <laughs> never the same after the UCLA girls came in 1980, and if Memphis State can take this group to to uh, the finals in Lexington, it'll never be the same either. What's so nice about this group is they're all from Memphis, just like the basketball players. Girls, congratulations. Thank you. Hope to see you down the road in Lexington at the Final Four. So our halftime statistics, Billy, look this way. Well, one of the fellas, Basketball Holmes, set everybody upside down in that first half. Look at the rebounds. Memphis State having full control with the two big men inside, and Florida State just had to do too many things to try to compensate, get out, rebounding completely. Memphis State 32-16, to 16, and that, of course, Holmes having a great first half. Florida State getting most of their scoring from the perimeter, having a hard time going inside, even with Gibson in there. And here's the man, Baskerville Holmes. Brent, you've already made him player of the game. We've only been, <laughs> been through 20 minutes. One of the things to look out for here in that second half, I, I thought we were going to have an opportunity for Memphis State to pull their trick play again. And, and I don't really understand this, because in that first half, remember... Memphis State, Bedford was out of the circle. And the tap, therefore, went to Florida State. I would have thought Florida State would not get the ball out in the second half. I'm going to have to check that one. That's a rule I didn't know. So we start the second half. And keep in mind that if Florida State wins, they'll get an automatic bid into the NCAA tournament. Memphis State will go in anyway. But an impressive display here, and they can wind up one of the top four seeds. First shot missed by the Seminoles. Memphis State, Keith Lee with the rebound controlling. Andre Turner brings it to Petro. That's about 16, 17 feet. Bedford is so smooth and has that soft touch. Real key here for Florida State to get a basket early and keep the tempo a little bit slower pace than what Memphis State wants. Uh, Gibson open. He wanted that ball. Came to the ball side. Myrick takes it. And Memphis State has Q. Out hustles everyone to the rebound. A final. Wichita hey. State beating Tulsa. And Wichita State goes in now to the NCAA tournament. An automatic bid. And, of course, we expect Tulsa to be one of the at-large. And when you get an upset in the tournament, that cuts down those at-large teams that will be selected. For Wichita State last week losing almost the same type of ball game. Myrick fouled Bedford as he brought the ball down off the rebound. Memphis State starting to overpower him inside now. That's three fouls on Myrick. 
If you're sitting over there in that Florida State bench, you got to think about getting Myrick out of the ball game, but you also have to think about going on, down inside to Gibson, making sure he touches the ball early here in the second half before you let Memphis State get a working margin again. They were up by 10 in the first half, and that was the biggest Memphis State lead. Bedford a 70% free throw shooter. He's got a good touch. And there is a move. Myrick out. David Spates checks in. He was Myrick's teammate in high school. They've been around together a long time and now substitute for each other. Let's see if they go inside to get him. Real important to let him touch the ball here in the second half. Bedford trying to deny him access. Did a good job on him. They can't get it to him again. Ask you on the turnover. Gets it to Keith Lee. Oh, oh it. beautifully. That was Farrar that blocked at the point guard. Schaffer maneuvers with the pass out of bounds. Intended for Spates. Not a well-thrown ball. He's got to stay under control. Watch Farrar come across the lane on Keith Lee actually was over the top of his hand by about six inches. Some athlete. Now he goes back and he's guarding Turner. That's versatility defensively. And the pass into Lee Gibson fouled him. That's his first personal foul. You know, Brent, you wonder how much better our athlete's going to be. There's Farrar who goes back and plays Turner, who's one of the fastest guys in basketball, and then has the ability to go up in the air to stop a six foot 10 Keith Lee. With Lee and Bedford, Memphis State, so much stronger. Great man inside. to me. See what kind of a shot selection they come in with. Get the ball inside to Askew, maneuvers. And he'll come up to the line, Spates fouling. That's a great offensive set that Memphis State runs for their personnel. A 1-4 type deal that leaves Turner outside to be able to penetrate if he can, but then it breaks Lee up to the foul line. They rub Askew off down on the baseline. Really difficult to stop in a man-to-man. -man. Gibson gonna sit down. He just seemed to be annoyed. They're gonna have to take it. He walking out. Gibson's walking off the floor yeah, and uh, to the back locker toward room. the locker room. Jackie Robinson, who is not the trainer, but uh, a chaplain of the team. This was Gibson as he left just moments ago, and he kept right on walking. Yeah, we send the man to get that report. Very unusual. I said it better get him the ball soon in the second half, but I didn't think he was going home. <laughs> you know, if you don't give me the ball, I'm going home. He's go he didn't get the ball, and he's going home. <laughs> Let's see if their team can keep their composure right here. There's the Atlantic 10 with Rutgers leading Temple by a point. Same situation would exist there. If Rutgers can upset them, they go in, and Temple would fill out one of those bids, I would expect. They've had a good year. They are really undersized, these Seminoles, against this Memphis State line without Gibson on the floor. And without Randy Allen, who hasn't been able to play at all today because of the ankle injury. Farrar, who can sky, we reject one. Myrick rebounds. They just don't have the size to yep. come back on the rebound and slam it over Memphis State. And Myrick did a good job just getting that shot off. <laughs> Memphis State really in a position on. Here's where the clock hurts. You know, if you're a team that's small like this, you spread it out so you can get Gibson back in the ball game instead of getting yourself in a situation where you got to keep throwing up the shots. Holmes, first personal. And from the ACC, Duke leading Georgia Tech by a point. Two teams headed into that 64-team field, and Marquette up on DePaul. Now, is that a must-win for Marquette? Oh, no, no question about that. Marquette would have to win that ball game to stand any chance to get in. Notre Dame won the game they had to win today. To put that pressure on that tournament committee. Tough job. Shepard. Short. Move by Myers to get it back outside. Last 
ball game against Memphis State. Farrar had it not a good game. Had five turnovers. A hard time scoring, but he's playing well today. Gibson has not returned back to the bench. Space, the tallest player out there now, a senior. About six foot seven. A lot of great leapers. Had a lot of trouble with his knees throughout his career. Had a couple of operations. What we see happening right now, Memphis State can throw right over the top of any defense down inside. producer Bob Dekus that Gibson left because of an upset stomach and he will be returning and he right now is coming back out of the locker room and headed toward the bench Lee again two in a row now for Keith Lee he's up to eight remember he needs 22 and he took a blow to the head Keith Lee did come right down on the side of the face. Didn't take Myrick a heavy caught ball. him with a hand as he came back away. We'll get time out here in Louisville, the final of the Metro. We'll return. Memphis stayed up by eight and 1553 to go. To everyone in the spotlight, before the show begins, this buzz for you. This buzz for you. Distinctively clean, crisp taste that says Budweiser. Hey, man. Nice job. This Bud's for you. Isn't it time you experience the outstanding total performance of the Mazda RX-7? Because only then can you feel the seemingly unending flow of power from its unique rotary engine and experience exceptional handling from its near-perfect weight distribution. Only then can you appreciate its aerodynamics at work. Only then will you understand why the RX-7 has become a legend in offering superior sports car value. Mazda RX-7. Experience it. Join Brent Musburger and Billy Packer for a tournament preview, followed by number three, Michigan against Indiana, and later the tournament selection show tomorrow on CBS Sports. Keith Lee being tended to after taking that blow around the eye. Needs 22, of course, to break the scoring record. So he's been attended to. Meanwhile, the big fellow, Alton Lee Gibson, has returned for the locker room from the locker room. I was going to question whether or not he had a stomach ache, but when he looked over here at me, Brent, I decided whatever excuse he wanted to say he had, that's what it was. Well, let's see if they can get the ball to him. He just looks annoyed, doesn't he? He sure does. There he is with his jump hook. Short. Got it back, comes right back up. Hold for two. Still going after it, and now the foul is called on Baskerville Holmes. That's his second. Here we see everybody backing in. Gibson wanting a lob pass on this one, even though standing in front of him is Bedford. Gibson again maneuvering. Bedford blocked it beautifully. He's liable to have another stomach kick. Oklahoma up by two in the second half. They battle for that big eight crown. It's hard to stop Team Harden denying when they're fighting for that NCAA championship first. Bedford, a magnificent job on the glass for Dana Kirk and the Tigers. Lead to Shepard. Pass 
Mr. Yeah. Gibson. Swung his elbows. Well, I, I think he's viciously just coming out of there. I think he's just annoyed with everybody. There's the pass on the inside. Watch the elbows come out of here now. Now he's bending over. Maybe he does have a very upset stomach. He looks like he's really hurting out there. I noticed right away at the start of the game that he was gasping for air. Well, I don't know. He, he's backing off that line now. Played at Utica Junior College. Was considered the top center to get into your program in the country two years ago. All Metro Conference last year. Led the league in scoring. That was three years in a row for Florida State. They had Mitchell Wiggins who transferred over from Clemson. Led the league in scoring two years. Man to man. Not the state's possession. Notice well, Andre Turner turn around and say, hey, we're not going anywhere here. You don't steal the ball from me. One of the quickest point guards in the country. You see him get through that time and draw the foul. He took it as a no. personal challenge to say, I'm going right by you. That's the, you know, that's one of his big advantages, but sometimes a big disadvantage for him. He tries to go ahead and do some personal things. And as long as he's running the ball club smoothly, Memphis State's tough to beat. Look at him run that one down and stay with it. Florida State bench unhappy about that call. Rex Morgan, their assistant coach, who once played for Joe Williams, the head coach at Jacksonville. There's Rex. Rex considered one of the all-time great players ever to come out of Florida. Played at Jacksonville. He was a guard on the Artis Gilmore team. Right. Later spent some days with the Boston Celtics. 1970, that club went to the Final Four. Turner. Some serious trouble now. They haven't been able to get anything off the boards in the second half. Oh, great play. Shepard. 18 points. He's had maybe one of the best days of his entire career, and he's had some good games statistically, not so much scoring, but overall forward play. Also is certainly their leader out there on the floor. Yells instructions and gets it done. And with that steal, his next point, he'll break his career high, too. Shaffer ought to be a pretty good floor player if he follows after the man that he was named after, Dean. He's named after Dean Smith, who was an assistant coach in North Carolina when his dad was there. And Bedford foul Gibson reaching over him, number three on the seven-footer. Now let's watch, uh, let's watch uh, in the case right now, Gibson is bending over again. And that's a reminder about tomorrow. The road to Lexington starting at noon, followed by some Big Ten action, which will be coming your way. Michigan and Indiana, 1 p.m. Eastern time. And then, of course, we'll have the selection show at 5.30. Bedford again. Now, Keith Lee has come out of the dressing room. He has a tape over the uh, cut that he suffered on that. When the person came down, scraped him on the eye. Bedford sits down. Firing down the baseline, strongly to the glass. Well, when you're playing a 2-3 zone, you're not supposed to let a man get baseline on you like that, Frank. Myrick has good quickness, a good overall athlete, but you're just not supposed to go by three men. Seminoles back to within six. Off Lee out of bounds, and Florida State can pull to within four. This is a big trip for them. Bedford quickly returns, and Becton sits down. Memphis State's starting five on the floor for Dana Kirk. 
Florida State plays with a six-man team, so those fellas out there know nobody's coming in to substitute for him. Myra missing. Bounded to Holmes. Keith Lee in that lane a long time. Georgia Tech leading Duke by four. Bounce to Lee. They collapse on him with three men. As to fakes on Myrick, steps inside. Strong rebound. Pitch it, giving it to Schaffer. And again, the Seminoles can move to within four. They'd be smart to pull it back up and slow down tempo a little bit. Gibson, it's a four-point basketball game. Now Gibson looks like he's in a lot of pain, Grant. I've been really watching him spatially. Just trying to gas for air. Askew gets it away from Schaffer, who tried to steal. Turner, no good. And Florida State out hustling Memphis State for loose balls right now. They can pull to within two here in this Metro Conference Final. Well, Fitchett is really doing a job off the board. Can't weigh more than 185 pounds. Stay in that corner. Great man to man now by Memphis State. Gibson's Myrick got Love on it. Gibson got to get a hand on it. He was too tall. Uh oh, Gibson is walking now. He wants to come out. He's not wanting to go down the court. He's not there, and Lee has an easy basket as a result. Gibson, they got to call timeout for Gibson. He can't walk down the court. And they don't want to call. They timeout. don't want the timeout. They've they see Gibson. It. They've got to take it. He's really wincing in a lot of pain. I can't believe they don't take a timeout because he's asked for it. And the game is so tight. Ferris spins inside, short. Rebounded Bedford, who yanks it away. Now, now, Gibson now Gibson telling the Finks that he can't, he can't do it. He says he's, not, he's got his he hand He can't up. go down. It's five on four. Second trip, and Lee's got oh, two baskets. They've just given him two five on four situations. They should have called the timeout. I can't believe they didn't. He was asking to come out of the game. Joe Williams cost himself four points right there. Gibson sits down over on the bench. He's got to be in a lot of pain, Brent, but there was an opportunity to call the timeout and save those points. Introducing three all-new 1986 Mazda B2000 trucks. Trucks so advanced, the words that describe them best may never have been used to describe any truck. Words like roomy, quiet, responsive, aerodynamic, good handling, smooth riding. And the words great value also apply to the SE5, the LX, and the B2000 experience. The 1986 line of Mazda trucks. Experience it. They're gonna love you. May I help you? I doubt it. He's looking for a personal computer. <laughs> I must run all the top software. Sure. Easy to use, easy to add on. Of course. Great graphics, a good keyboard. Oh, yes. And a good price. Finished. I'd be very surprised if you had one like that. Ta-da! The NCR PC4. Does all that? Surprised? No. NCR's been in computers for 30 years. I know then. I just thought you'd be surprised. I'll take 12. 12? Surprised? Yes. Uh... <laughs> a better computer. It's exactly what you'd expect from NCR. This Bud's for everyone who scrapes it, sprays it, and lays it on smooth. For you, that distinctively clean, crisp taste that says Budweiser. For all you do. This Bud's for you. Wednesday. Mad Ziegler! After all these years. Charles reunites Jill with her high school idol, but will it backfire? I hate him. Charles in charge. Back in Louisville. Here was Keith Lee, and again it was five on four for two trips. Gibson stayed up at the offensive end. Earlier he had asked for a timeout right there. That was prior to the first one. He said, I can't go any further. And you can see Rex Morgan sees him, the assistant, and 
Gibson now leaving again and going back to the Florida State locker room. He's had trouble with an upset stomach, could not come at a worse time. Well, they had an opportunity, Brent, to have it down to, you know, a solid two. And, uh, you know, if they call the timeout, they can put him on the bench and at least they have possession of the ball. You can't call timeout when the other team has the ball. So Florida State them. 5 of 15 in the second half. Memphis State 7 of 13. Shepard to Myrick. Myrick comes in at Bedford off the floor. Loose. One down and stolen. State's had it. Taken away from Fisher to no foul. You've got to give the Florida State kids a lot of credit in regard to the effort they're putting out down here. They're no size on the court. They're just battling for every rebound. Assess the personal foul. Four on him. Can't afford to lose Farrah in this ball game. It's still 10 minutes to go. They were in striking distance. A minute or so ago, and he's been the man that's been controlling the tempo. We may have to vote again on the Chevrolet most valuable player. My man Baskerville hasn't put the ball in the basket this half. Well, he hadn't touched it much either. Hard to score without it in your hands. And Schaffer doing a good job on him. There he is from the corner looking past it has you Keith Lee getting a good position knocked away and out of bounds by Schaffer who's laying off Holmes now trying to help out inside without Gibson in the game trying to get a little help one of the things that's happened here now you're finding Holmes not being guarded again Schaffer's trying to help out double teaming on Lee Holmes ought to be able to get his jump shot off on the baseline. Memphis State was such a size advantage. You'd think they'd get it into one of the big fellas, but Turner says we can't, so I'll do it myself. Joe Williams looks down to the locker room to see if Gibson will be emerging from the door. Schaffer missing. That just came ball. up and leaves is assessed his third personal. But again, uh, you've got Dana Kirk in a super situation because he has really two centers or two forwards. Either way, he wants to look at a power forwards, and he uses them so well. So foul trouble will really help him in the NCAA tournament. Because most teams, if they lose a man of that size, are going to be in serious trouble. For Dana, he just substitutes. One of the teams that I've seen that matches up fairly well against Georgetown. They've got size inside to pound away against big, tough Patrick Ewing. They've got speed out there in the backcourt. And when you go up against the Georgetown, you're facing some of the greatest athletes in the country. What athletic skill John Thompson has as he attempts to become the first coach since the legendary John Wooden to win back-to-back -back NCAA championships. And we'll find out which region he's going to tomorrow afternoon. And of course, tonight he'll play St. John's in Madison Square Garden for the Big East time. Baskerville home. Rips away. It was bound to happen because he hasn't been guarded. Oh, nice. Nice pass by Schaffer to Myrick coming through. Through the foul on Bedford, and Myrick with the field goal. That is four on Bedford. Larry's got seven fouls on his two big fellows, and you know, along the lines of what you were talking about, Brent, one of the things that very few people have are big men that can score. If you're going to go up against a Georgetown, you've got to keep Patrick Ewing occupied. Here's our man Gibson back. Let's see if he goes right back in the game. They didn't even let him sit down. They just pushed him back to the table. Uh, he likes the lay down when he goes to the sidelines anyway. I noticed that yesterday. He doesn't sit on the bench very well. Back into the tight zone. And Holmes ought to be open on the wing again. Good job of fronting Bedford, denying him the ball. Lee. All one hand by Keith Lee. He catches the ball in traffic very well. 14 for Lee. Played quite a ball game today. Pitch it maneuvering inside. Space. Oh, surprising 
and if Memphis State's able to do a good job in the offensive boards with a small team out there. Now they can't get Gibson back in the game. But the clock hasn't stopped any time. Three, short. Rebound and came right down and hit the field goal. And it's seven again, and Florida State will not quit. Well, they know if they quit, it's the end of their season. They might as well give it everything they've got. Because they're going nowhere if they don't win this ball game. We foul. No, he traveled. Going to have a timeout, and CBS Sports coverage of NCAA basketball will continue after this word from your local station. This is CBS. The area's newest United Paint place is now open for business at 1979 Exeter Road in Germantown. And now through March the 30th, just mention the old coach's name at the newest United Paint place, and they'll give you a 20% discount on sundry items like brushes and rollers, and 25% off of any of United's fine paints. That's 25% off. You can't beat it. United Paint, United Paint, you're living in a rainbow world. If you can't paint, paper. People don't like to waste time, nor do they like to waste money. That's why so many shop at Auto Shack. Auto Shack has major brands, all the parts you need. So instead of shopping all over the place, you shop at one place. That saves you time and money. Because Auto Shack has true discount prices with savings up to 50% on quality parts and rebuilds back with a full year guarantee. So the next time you need auto parts, think Auto Shack. It's for people who don't have time to waste money. Today's game is sponsored by Mercedes-Benz, engineered like no other car in the world. in Louisville. I'm Brent Musburger along with Billy Packer. We have six minutes and 45 seconds and a reminder about tomorrow. The road to Lexington starts it at high noon here on CBS. Then we'll follow with Michigan, Indiana at 1 p.m. Eastern time. Then we'll have some world figure skating championships for you and finally the big show tomorrow at 5.30 Eastern time. The selection show, the 64 team field. Who will it be and where will they go? One change of the four regions this year, there is no more Mideast. It is now Southeast. That regional championship will be played in Birmingham. The East will be played in Providence. The Midwest will be in Dallas, and the Far West will be out in Denver. And of course, you would think that Georgetown and St. John's would wind up with two of the four top seeds, and one of them could go out west as Georgetown did last year. And then they came romping home with a national championship. Memphis State would like to stay in the southeast. Florida State would just like to get an invitation. But they must win this game. And Farrah comes back. That's 12 points for Farrah. 62-57. 12 points, a great floor game. Super defensive play today on Turner. Inside, knocked away by Myrick and out of bounds. That's quite a catch by Bedford. Both Bedford and Lee really catch the ball well, not only with on the lob pass, but in traffic. Lee from the corner. Missing, loose, pitch it. Brings it down, and these Seminoles have a lot of desire. With Oklahoma leading Iowa State. Inside, now to Gibson, who hits two, and... It's 62-59. It's a three-point game. And Gibson looked good running back down the court. Didn't have any pained expression on his face. That time, the Pepto-Bismol worked. <laughs> they get it into Bedford. The seven-footer goes to the glass. Foul as he rose up to attempt that shot. And Myrick assessed the personal foul. You know, Fitchett, when this game is over and you go back and look at the film, he's not going to have many points, but he has really done an incredible job today on the boards, blocking out. There's Myrick, who's also an excellent athlete, playing against taller people throughout the ball game, but getting up on the boards, doing a good job on his jump shot. Still complaining to the referee. 
can't believe it. Bedford. Bedford, who in our game last week against Louisville kind of disappeared. Very unusual. Everybody remembers the great game he had against the team Elijah won. Hitting for 21 points in the region. Firing to the attack for the Seminoles. Big basket here. Want to swing to get it to Gibson. Gibson trying to get free inside. They finally shift to him. He'll come right back up at you, and he's got the roll on it. It is now a 63-61 game here for the Metro Conference title in five minutes to go. <laughs> you talk about what a postseason conference tournament played for. Here it is. Lee with the turnaround. He's got a big hoop for the Tigers. Nice soft touch. In Louisville, I'm Brent Musburger along with Billy Packer. A Metro Conference title on the line in Memphis State leading it by two points. They have possession right now. They have the superior talent, but the Florida State Seminoles have turned in a gutty performance without the injured Randy Allen, who has been unable to play. They've got four minutes and 27 seconds to get into the tournament. The Mercedes-Benz 190 class for 1985. So masterfully engineered that it can perform with the world's finest sports sedans. And that makes it exciting. Yet so conscientiously engineered that its feeling of sheer driving security is unique. And that makes it a Mercedes-Benz. The 190 class. Mercedes-Benz. Engineered like no other car in the world. The New York Stock Exchange. When people here get acid indigestion, and you know they do, they can't just stop. No wonder so many people take Rolaids, the tablet that gives millions 100% relief. Like a sponge, Rolaids antacid medicine consumes 100% of the acid required to give millions 100% relief. With Rolaids, you can keep going. Rolaids. Rolaids spells 100% relief. Moving days can turn into a moving days. Renting from someone other than Ryder can leave you dazed. Dazed to find the truck you rented has no third gear. Ryder trucks have automatic. Dazed to find you wrestling a truck at every turn, and the truck is winning. Ryder has power steering. Moving days, you can be dazed. Or you can rent a newer, tougher Ryder truck. It's Ryder or it's Roll. Olympic champion Bill Johnson returns to Aspen to defend his title in America's Downhill, plus the World Figure Skating Championships, next on CBS Sports Saturday. We're back in Dana Kirk and Memphis State. Once with a 10-point lead, it has dwindled here to two at the 427 mark. Florida State has hit its last six shots. They are on a 14-5 run over the last four minutes and 15 seconds, and that has put Joe Williams and the Seminoles right back in the thicket. You know what's been amazing, uh, Brent, when we had Gibson go out of the game on two occasions, the team really hung in there and kept the margin within striking this. Dana Kirk was specific during that timeout to Bedford in the huddle saying, you've got to play basketball. You've got to want it now. And there's a final. Georgia Tech knocking off Duke and getting into the ACC final. That's the first time Georgia Tech has ever won two games in the Atlantic Coast Conference Tournament. Barra has kept the Seminoles within two at the four-minute mark here in the Metro Final. Keith Lee won that ball. He's got it. Wouldn't stay in. Myrick deflected by home. Now that hit off Turner's foot. That hit off Turner's foot. Let's see if the ref got it. Great call. They weren't sure. The refs weren't sure. A little combination here. This will hit right off Turner's foot. Boom. There it is. Good camera work. Right on it. Looked like Chopper thought he was going in for a touchdown. That was a tough call for a referee to make. Gibson. Over Keith Lee to tie it at 7 and 3.40 to go. How about 
this team, and they got it. They have no fans here to speak of. Randy Allen, who scored 31 against Memphis State, not able to play with an injury. Gibson sick and is still hanging in. Memphis State now looks a little confused. And they're double teaming Keith Lee, leaving Holmes wide open. Boyd shot is blocked by Myrick. Florida State can take the lead. Here's Shaffer going for it. He's got yes. it. Score yes. the basket. Good call. Great call by the official. a super call by the official because he couldn't have anticipated this pass was going to be made. Boyd's just not going to get there in time. Chaffer was already off the ground. Basket counts. This is some comeback. Keep banging my pen on the ground here. <laughs> sorry. Like a bass drum you're playing. <laughs> I'm sorry. Dean Chaffer's career high. The former Tar Heel. Short on the free throw. Holmes rebound. That could have been a big one. Could have put it on a odd number. Meaning Memphis State had to have two field goals to get themselves in the lead. Three minutes. Baskerville Holmes, who's been much quieter here in the second half with possession. Swings to Askew, and here is the little man Turner bouncing it to the big horse. Lee came up. He'll come to the line and shoot free throws. Gibson knew at that time. That's the second foul on Alton Lee Gibson. Keith Lee may have bumped off a little bit before he got that shot off. Gibson raised his hand. He knew he uh, had committed the foul, but that time, Memphis State was able to swing the ball away from Keith Lee, leaving Gibson just one-on-one. -on -one. Memphis State a little lethargic here in the second half. They let this one get away from them. Yes, they have. They, they had an opportunity to go in for the kill. Lee with that bandage uh, over that uh, right lower part of the eye. Oh, he's a good free throw shooter. Now they're back to their full court zone press, which helped them so much in the first half. They'll look for Gibson. Memphis State playing it back inside. I don't think they know what defense they're in right now. Now they're back to straight man to man. Pitch it'll swing. Barrett gets it in. Here's Gibson in deep. Story. No stomach ache now. And that is four personal balls on Keith Lee. Oh, now he threw that ball down over the top of the referee's head. Lucky he didn't get a Gibson inside. Stretched back to get the shot off. Dana Kirk has to be a little nervous. Twenty points for Gibson. A 72-69 lead by the Gutty Seminoles of Florida State. And they're going to look inside for Keith Lee. So he's being double teamed, so Askew and Holmes have to take the jump shots. They get it into Keith. Triple, Triple team. team looking for the shot. Drew the foul. I think Keith has got to learn how to swing the ball quickly out of that triple team. Yeah. Move it around the horn. There's got to be an open man out here. Sure, yeah. When you're being triple teamed, Askew and Holmes have got the easy jump shots. Gibson had his hands straight up in the air. That's his third personal foul. Joe Williams, the Florida State coach, wanting a timeout. So he'll bring his Seminoles over. They lead it. 72-69. We're inside of two minutes. Keith Lee will be at the free throw line when you come back. Renault introduces 8.5 in 85, America's lowest factory financing. That's 8.5% on Renault Alliance with sedan comfort for five. 8.5% on Renault Encore built in America with European design. And 8.5% on Alliance Convertible, America's lowest price convertible. 
8.5 in 85, America's lowest financing on all Renault models. The one to watch, the one to watch, the one to watch. Renault. Give me a light. Bud Light. If you just ask for a light beer, you never know what you'll get. Uh, give me a light. Uh, Bud Light. Hold this, will you? So if you want the less filling light beer with the first name and taste, don't just ask for a light beer. Give me a light. Ask them to bring out their best. Bud Light! Bud Light. Because everything else is just a light. Strike. Bigger engines were easy on oil. But today's smaller, higher revving engines are tougher. They can break down an oil's viscosity within 1,500 miles. That's why there's Castrol. Tests show Castrol suffers no significant breakdown of viscosity even after 5,000 miles. So use Castrol, because if you make things too hard on your engine, your engine could make things hard on you. Castrol, engineered for smaller cars. We are back in Louisville with a minute 58 to go in this Metro Conference Tournament Final, a game that coming in figured to be lopsided. But Joe Williams and the Seminoles of Florida State have refused to back away, even though their star scorer, Randy Allen, is sidelined with an ankle injury. And now the Seminoles find themselves leading Keith Lee and the Memphis State Tigers 72 to 69. Lee with 18 points, needs 22 to break the all-time scoring record in this conference, held by Darryl Griffin of Louisville. And that is 19, and he's had 15 of those 19 here in the second half. Right about Gibson rebounding. It's a oh, bad pass. pass. Turner with the steal. The outlet pass from Myrick was telegraphed. Well, Gibson had Schaffer standing right next to him and looked up court. Askew's, Askew's got, got the shot. Yep. He now Will Fall. Somebody else has got to look for the jump shot on this team. Keith Lee and Gibson really bodying each other. Will Fall on the floor. They're looking for Lee. Gibson helping out on the double. They're collapsing three men. They'll go for Lee. Stolen by Schaffer. And Lee reached over. And if they call that his fifth foul on Keith Lee. If that's what they call here. No question about it being his fifth foul. Now remember last night when Keith Lee got in foul trouble, Memphis State played very well without him. Billy, in that particular situation, somebody else on this team should have been looking for the jump shot. They were collapsing everybody on Lee. Let him go to the glass and try to rebound. They've got this enormous size advantage, but come in from the perimeter. I couldn't agree with you more, Brent. You remember the very last time they had the possession, he was triple teamed and got away with a going up for the shot and being fouled. And Keith Lee will not break the Metro Conference scoring record. His next appearance will be in the NCAA. And Schaffer hitting another big free throw. What a game he has had with 21 points. He's also handed out three assists. He hits a pair and drilled both of them. To give Florida State a four-point lead. And what a story this would be if the Seminoles would wind up in the NCAA tournament. Dana Kirk and Memphis State would use a timeout. America's singing the praises of National Car Rental Special Economizer Weekly Rates. Pay for four days at our regular daily rate and you get three for free on any car up to a full-size four-door. I'll pay for four. You'll get three for free. Pay for four. Get three for free. It pays to get national attention. <laughs> It's the start of the day. It's the beat of the road. It's breaking away. A kiss, a glance. It is hot. It is cool. A smile, a chance. It's breaking a rule. It's just how you feel when you know it's for real. It's a hit. It's a kick. It's a Coke. Coke is it. Coke. 
Incredibly, 90% of all major banks make their international payments through one computer network from Burroughs Corporation. Every day, billions of dollars are transferred in seconds around the world. And after more than 300 million transactions, the network has never once broken down. Reliable systems like this are just one example of Burroughs' commitment to be the best computer company in the world. Freedom Hall in Louisville with Florida State upsetting Memphis State 74 to 70. Each team with two timeouts and a minute 16 remaining. Dana Kirk, of course, and the Tigers of Memphis State will still be headed into the NCAA tournament even if they are beaten here this afternoon. But Joe Williams and Florida State, they have but one opportunity to get in, and that's to upset Keith Lee and Memphis State. Florida State could become the second team with a losing record to enter the NCAA tournament this year. Earlier last week, Lehigh University, that's where my father used to coach, got into the NCAA tournament. Boy, if they're the 16th seed in the East, could you imagine going up against Georgetown with Lehigh? That'd be tough, wouldn't it? Looking to go inside to Bedford, but again, the jump shot is there for Askew. Askew takes it, yep. and that's their shot. They've got to go to the perimeter against this sagging defense inside. It's a two-point game right now. Schaffer fouled by Wilfong. Wilfong's dad, of course, and uh, uncle, Wynn Wilfong, was an uh, outstanding player, so they've got that tradition going at Memphis State and the Wilfong family. Drilled the last two. Short Turner stepped right in the lane on him almost too quickly and stuck a hand right in Schaffer's face. Again, wanting to go inside, but Askew's got that jump shot. He should look to take it. He's, he's stepping in his step or two. Maneuvering. He'll come up again. He has tied it. He'll come to the line. Charge of the offense. I'm sure that Dana told him the same thing over there in the huddle that we observed. Go ahead, if they're going to give it to you, you're a good shooter. Well, you said in the first half, Brent, that this young man has an opportunity to be of all American caliber, and he showed it there. Not only physically, but to have the guts to take those two shots. He was ready to take the shot when Keith Lee committed that foul. He wanted the jump shot then. Maurice Marek having fouled out on that play. And Vincent Askew, the freshman, with a chance to score five consecutive points here for the Tigers and put them ahead with 30 seconds to go. So remember, two of the last three games between Joe Williams, David Spates, and the Seminoles of Florida State have gone down to the buzzer against the Tigers of Memphis State. One of two this year and last year in this Metro Conference Tournament. Superior size on the inside. Jofa, number three, was fouled by Will Fong. You talk about an unusual year. Memphis, I mean, Florida State won six of their first seven, then lost 11 of their next 12 to find themselves here. High score, 20 seconds away from a conference championship. They were involved in a brawl with the Louisville team. Joe Williams and his staff huddling to determine what they want to do. They have played against nine, nine games this year against teams that you would have 
anticipate getting in the tournament, the NCAA tournament. They've lost eight of them. to be talking the same time a head coach is. free throw. He's a 72% free throw shooter, but doesn't go to the line much. Only been there 48 times all year. Hit the pair. 20 seconds for the Tigers. Now Turner's going to have that ball in their 1-4. They'll call the timeout to set the play. 16 seconds. Dana will set it. Remember, Keith Lee has fouled out. Vince is taking the ball. Our match is going to be coming here, okay? John, you go to those three. All right? Stay wide. Blank, go for John. No, no, no. Please go. Okay, John? All right, now. As Dana. By the way, sets that final play. I'll tell you where to throw the ball. Folks who brought you this game, our executive producer, Kevin O'Malley. This game produced by Bob Dickens, directed by Bob Fishman. Associate director was Mark Wolf, and thanks to all the crew that made this such an enjoyable afternoon. You know, Brent, this year we had that uh, situation with Marshall in regard to making the longest shot of all time. Not too many years ago, Florida State was in a position to go ahead and talk about being snake bit, to go to win a ball game, hold it for the last shot. They missed the last shot, the ball bounced out to the side, Virginia Tech got it, and Les Henson flew in one 83 feet or 89 feet, three inches to beat him. Joe Hall can... Uh, Joe Williams can remember those games. And I think right now he's got to be reflecting back on all the times he's been snake bit in close games in the last couple of years. I think the most interesting part of this play is how quickly Memphis State elects to get into it. Now, Keith Lee has fouled out, but Bedford is still there on the front line. Thinking, of course, of the possibility of a miss, you've got someone to clean up inside on the rebound. I'm kind of surprised he didn't put in a guy like Beckton to give him a two, two men on the board. Great man to man. Clear out for Andre goes to the glass. High misfiring. Got it back with six seconds. Up again. Rattled in and out. Andre is tied. Overtime. Overtime. Overtime in the Metro Final. How often do you see that? You don't get the shot you want. It's tapped in on the weak side. They have one second left here in regulation. Williams, the young boy Blake over there, thought they had wrapped it up, and they had the second rebound yep. on the other side. They sure did. Weak side rebound. Turner had to clear out for himself. He took it to the hoop, couldn't get it. The real key there was Turner getting that second shot off because it was almost blocked. So close. Heartbreaks, and you can't do anything about it. 
about it. and Johnson has proven that cuts kept covered with Band-Aid brand heal faster than uncovered cuts, up to twice as fast. It was here, honest, I mean it. Keep cuts covered with Band-Aid brand and they'll heal up to twice as fast. From Johnson and Johnson. For Mike Blum, international consultant, headaches come with the territory. It's a monstrous headache. It isn't just a headache. I'd love to have some aspirin. Today we'd like you to try extra strength Tylenol. It works without aspirin. It's got to get rid of this headache. No headache. And I have uh, no stomach problems. I'm uh, sold on extra strength Tylenol. Extra strength Tylenol. You can't buy a more potent pain reliever without a prescription. Now Tylenol introduces caplets, specially coated and shaped so they're easy to swallow. New extra strength Tylenol caplets. We are back in Louisville. I'm Brent Musburger along with Billy Packer. We're getting set now for the five minute overtime in the Metro Conference Championship game between Memphis State and the underdog Florida State. Florida State's only chance to get into the NCAA. They would have won it. They would have been in the tournament except for this sequence. Andre Turner missing on the shot. Watch him get the rebound. It's tipped over to him. Look at the weak side. Baskerville Holmes, number 43 right there. He'll tip the ball back in for Dana Kirk and that sends us into overtime. And Billy, we cannot say enough about the determination and the guts displayed here by Florida State. They really have done a tremendous job. Memphis State, one of the four or five best college teams in the land, playing for one of the top seeds. Timeouts remaining here in the overtime are what, Billy? Well, you get one extra timeout for the... Uh timeout in the overtime, so we're sitting at two and one. Oh, to Pittsburgh, the seven-footer. The Tigers take the lead, and a foul is called against Florida State. What a way to start the overtime. That could give them a huge emotional lift. Here goes that lob. Turner throwing it perfectly. Not much you can do to stop that. Another look at it from down low in the seven-foot sophomore. Keith Lee, the all-American forward, fouled out of the game late in the second half, so you will not see him in action. Bedford now must carry the bulk of the load for the Tigers inside. Turner setting it up. Bedford out. 
Way away from the basket with a bad pass, but it is saved by Turner. It's so valuable to have a Turner in the ball game right now because he wants the ball in the clutch situation, just as he did when he drove to the basket. On the top, Turner comes free with the jump shot. It is 81-76. Memphis State explodes here in overtime, led by that slam by Bedford. Spates maneuvering. He's got Bedford, and he should have come back with the shot, and he did not. Gibson will set it up. Gibson, he turns around, and he's got Florida State's first points in overtime. It's a three-point Memphis State lead, 22 by Alton Lee Gibson. of you who watched Oklahoma and Iowa State play in the Big 8 championship game. You're in overtime here in the Metro. You watch the Sooners pull one out for two points. Well, Memphis State with the ball scored the first five points here in overtime. Florida State has just answered with a field goal. It's 81-78. We've got three minutes and 18 seconds to go. I'm Brent Musburger with Billy Packer. Turner is short. Spates no! run it down. an afternoon. Number 33, Dean Schaffer. 24 points for the Seminoles and Coach Joe Williams. You will not see Keith Lee on the floor. He has fouled out of the game. World figure skating action coming your way next year this afternoon on CBS. Memphis State will get into the NCAA tournament even if they lose this. Florida State will not. Their only chance for the 64-team field is to win this game. They're down by three and 2.30 to go here in overtime. Playing without their star, Randy Allen. Myrick is fouled out of the ball game. Really shorthanded. Ask you the freshman. He's the young man who brought him back late in regulation time. He hits another field goal. Memphis State dropping back in the zone. Beckton in the ball game who had a outstanding game against Louisville and hit well in the beginning of this game. Gibson wants it, but he's sealed off by Beckton on the double team. Now they get it to him, swinging through, and he's got him back to within three. It has been a determined, gutty performance here by Florida State. They have refused to yield against this tougher Memphis State team. Offensive charge now, but they don't call the charge on turn. Florida State not getting any breaks from the officiating here at the end either. Baskerville Holmes, who's been the big scorer, especially in the first half for Memphis State, giving it up. He circles in underneath. Looking to post up and hit inside. They bring the shot clock down to nine seconds. Now they get it to Holmes who will come up with a jump shot. Tough baseline jump shot. 24 points for Baskerville Holmes, his career high in this Metro Conference Championship game. During the Keith Lee era, Memphis State has played for the Metro Conference title three of the four years. State shot rattles out. Gibson tied up. And it'll be Florida State's. First break they've had down the wire. We've got a timeout here in Louisville. Memphis State. 52 seconds away from another Metro Conference Championship. Just last week, Jim McGill had his car tuned and checked for any problems. But there was one his mechanic couldn't see. The fan belt. Even this morning, no mechanic could have seen it would break because today's engine belts don't usually show signs of wear. But after four years, even the best belts can go any time. Is your car four years old or older? change the belts and ask for gates because nobody knows more about belts listen to these stuffy noses afrin doesn't have it
Dristan doesn't have it. Only Sinex has it. Ooh! That quick feeling of relief from instantly penetrating Vicks Vapors, plus a powerful decongestant that opens nasal passages and allows you to breathe freely. Ah, complete relief. For hours and hours, Sinex gives you both instant relief... Ooh! ...and complete relief. Ah! Sinex in regular and extra strength. From Vicks, of course. All right. Back for the final 52 seconds. Memphis State with a five-point lead. Very early in this overtime, there was a backcourt violation called against Florida State. Billy, you weren't sure about it. Yep, it was backcourt. Good call by the official. What happens there, if you start off in the backcourt and catch the ball in the air, it's where you left the ground. So good call. And our Chevrolet, most valuable player in the game, our Dean Schaffer from Florida State, Baskerville Holmes from Memphis State, and a check of the amount of $1,000 donated by Chevrolet to each college's general scholarship fund to further assist qualified students in all chosen academic fields. So a big possession here for the Seminoles. They must hit quickly and pull this back to within three. Schaffer's on the way. Holmes the rebound. So one MVP misses and the other rebounds. And Memphis State in solid control. And Brent, how do they look now for that number four seed? Oklahoma had a tough go against Iowa State. Fans who watch that game can compare these two teams and how they feel they match up. There you had Askew wanting to be fouled. He wants to go to the line. Boy, Memphis State has gotten some clutch shots out of Askew and Holmes. I want to remind everyone that coming up here in a few moments, CBS Sports Saturday, you're going to see America's Bill Johnson try to defend his title at America's Downhill. He's been in a bit of a slump here lately. That's a World Cup event from Aspen, Colorado. And, of course, we'll begin our coverage of the World Figure Skating Championships from Tokyo. That's all coming up next on CBS Sports Saturday. 30 seconds remaining. Askew with a miss. Run down quickly by the Seminole. Got to go inside to go for a three-point play here. Jump shots don't help you. They do get it inside. Gibson maneuver, and they don't foul it. Time out. Inside of 20 seconds, it's a three-point Memphis State lead with the timeout called, and that ends the timeouts as far as Florida State is concerned. Dana Kirk still has one remaining, and of course, while we have a break, I want to again remind everyone about the importance of tomorrow here on CBS as far as the NCAA tournament is concerned, because at noon, we'll bring you the road to Lexington. Then we will have a Big Ten showdown between Indiana and Michigan. And at 5.30 Eastern time, at a news conference which we will televise, you will learn the makeup of the 64-team field this year for the NCAA tournament and which of the four regions all of these teams will be assigned to. And that's at 5.30 tomorrow afternoon. Brent, Memphis State, an excellent free throw shooting team. On the year, they're 73%, but today they're just 11 for 20. I think a good move by Dana Kirk right now would be to put in five guards. He's got fellas like Ricky McCoy, a 76% free throw shooter, John Wolfong at 81%. He's got, of course, Turner, who's a good free throw shooter at 74. Put in the five guards. You don't have to score again. All you have to do is occupy the ball, and he can have his defensive team sitting on the sidelines there to go ahead and if in case Florida State gets the ball. Now, if you're Florida State, you've got to pick out guys to foul. You've got to go ahead and make sure they can't run any time off this clock. You go for the steal right away and then foul if you don't get the steal. But this club that's on the floor right now, the lowest free throw shooting percentage guy on the floor, I guess is going to have to be uh, Askew at 65%. Hi, Jenny. Benny, man. I was thinking Mr. Bonaventura was very lucky. The crowd, well, it's not a neutral floor. That's Some 7,000 folks have traveled 400 miles here from Memphis. I 
dare say these Memphis basketball fans are some of the most loyal I have seen any place. Well, they packed that Mid-South Coliseum, and uh, you know, they, this club, they got blue and white. They looking like they want to go to Lexington. Same colors, those pom-poms are the same colors. That's just down the road. So the young man who played his heart out here this afternoon for Florida State, Dean Chappell, transferred from North Carolina. His daddy was a player there. Thomas Mabry checking in for the Seminoles. He has replaced him. Andre Turner with 12 assists for the Tigers. He's at the free throw line, and he'd like to salt this one away if he can. That makes it real tough because now you can go ahead and just occupy the clock a little bit, not foul. They can't tie you with a three-point play. in Memphis they're dreaming of an NCAA championship just down the road in Lexington too Short. Space rebounds 18 seconds it's four points and they must come ever so quickly go inside to Gibson again Off the mark loose Askew that'll do it Askew is fouled Mabry gets him up to the line five seconds and the Tigers are going to win the Metro Conference Championship listen to their fans Setting Memphis State. And Baskerville Holmes got in on the weak side for that rebound, battered it back, and that forced us into overtime. And this man at the free throw line saved the game as far as Memphis State is concerned. He hit two key field goals for them late in regulation. Now he puts a little frosting on it. They'll let Florida State go coast to coast. That's it. That basket counts, but it's all over. The CBS banner is the first to go. saying so long from Louisville. Congratulations to the Tigers of Memphis State. Now, stay tuned for CBS Sports Saturday featuring the World Figure Skating Championship from Tokyo and America's Downhill from Aspen. NCAA basketball has been a presentation of CBS Sports. United flies more people to Hawaii.